Welcome back. Let's talk briefly about one of the most common chief complaints you run into as a neurologist, which would be weakness. So we're going to talk through a general approach to developing a long list of potential diagnoses. So let's start by drawing our initial diagram, moving from head to toe. So we'll start with the brain itself. We have a spinal cord. We have a peripheral nerve. And finally, we have our target organ, which would be the muscle. And there's multiple different targets here uh, within which certain diseases can act to produce weakness. So the first of these targets would be cerebral. So let's start with cerebral causes, and one of the first ones that comes to mind would be stroke. Next would be any kind of mass or abscess, which is a mass. And finally, something like PML, which is progressive multifocal leukencephalopathy. Our next target is the spinal cord, and we have a little mnemonic here, stems, so let's start first with S. S would be stenosis, spinal stenosis. T would be transverse myelitis. E would be epidural mass or abscess. M is going to be MS, and S is going to be stroke of the spinal cord, so spinal cord infarction. Moving on, our next target would be the anterior horn, and right off the bat we'll think of ALS, polio, or a post-polio syndrome, which is kind of re-expression or progression of the disease decades after the initial infection. Um, there's also a weird one, like West Nile virus. Okay, that's good enough. Next target would be the peripheral nerve, and this is one of the most difficult ones. It has a huge long list, so we have this mnemonic here, Dang the Rapist. So let's start with D and Dang for diabetes. A is alcohol. N is nutrition, so thinking specifically of a B12 deficiency. G is Guillain-Barre. T and the would be any kind of trauma. H, hereditary. I'm thinking of something like Charcot Mary Tooth. E is environmental or toxin exposure. R is remote cancer. A is autoimmune. P is porphyria. I is inflammatory. S is syphilis. And the last T is TB. Okay, moving on to our next target at the neuromuscular junction. Right off the bat, we have Eaton Lambert. Next, we have Myasthenia Gravis. And finally, we have a weird one again, West Nile Virus. Okay, our final target is the muscle itself, and we have this mnemonic here, myositis, and the Y is actually a V, so you just have to remember to change that to a V. So let's start off with M for muscle. Thinking specifically of something like polymyositis. V is viral. Many viruses can produce weakness. I'm thinking of Coxsackie, Echo, Flu, and HIV because HIV can do whatever it wants. O is opportunistic. So parasite. S is for statins. I 
I is infection, specifically Lyme's disease. T is thyroid, specifically hypothyroid. I is inflammation, so dermatomyositis would be one. And the final S is steroids. Finally, don't forget there's a couple other considerations. So hemoglobin, cardiac output, and percent saturation of the blood, as well as disturbances in electrolytes. So that's it, and I hope this helps. Have a great day.